everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 493 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm trying out the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. And this is just so funny to me that they are considering this a bronzer because I picked this up to be a setting powder and I'm really excited to finally be trying this out because one of my favorite YouTubers, Kelly Strack, she loves this powder. She uses it as an under eye setting powder and she talks about how she has dry skin and something that I've been really trying to improve upon is my under eye like in the skin on my under eyes and just how my makeup looks on my under eyes because I've realized as the day goes on, these under eyes start looking dry and unnatural, cakey. So I wanted to try this powder because I was hoping that it would look smooth and if Kelly Strack recommends it, it's something that I need to try. And also this huge bronzer it was only $3.99 and I got this from Ulta. It was part of my recent Ulta haul, so if you wanna see that video, I will link that down below. But so on Ulta, this does come in three shades, so two darker shades. So I'm just gonna start out by, I mean, that's a nice kind of velvety texture. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that color, seems good when swatched on my hand. Looks like it has a nice texture. Pretty blendable. Okay. So actually what I'm going to do first is apply some concealer to my under eyes. I want to do freshly apply it. So I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. And I feel like compared to other people, I just use a little bit of this, but the coverage that it gives is amazing. I have a dedicated review on this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I will link that down below, but it's one of my very first videos, therefore it's a little cringy. Um, it's kind of poor quality compared to what I'm used to, but if you wanna see it, I will link that down below. But seriously, look at the coverage from this concealer and just how brightening it is. As you just saw, I feel like I don't even use that much concealer. But somehow, my under eyes throughout the day just still start getting so dry and the makeup just ends up looking cakey. So I'm looking to solve that problem. If you have any tips on that, let me know in the comments down below, please. Okay, but so now that my concealer is applied, I'm going to go in with the powder. So I'm just gonna take my under eye powder brush and I'm just going to sweep it along my under eyes. Wow, I'm actually not seeing any color difference. Cause look at, the colors look the same, so that's good that this didn't actually add like color to my under eyes and get rid of any of that brightness. Okay, so I'm having some creasing on this under eye, so I'm just gonna pat out that creasing, apply the powder, and let's hope that this powder sets it so that it doesn't crease. It basically, on my skin tone, just goes on invisible. I'm like, is there even any powder on there? But I mean, it's looking very natural. Like the color looks natural, but it also has a natural texture where I feel like it doesn't look like there's any difference in the texture of my skin since I applied the powder. I mean, the skin does look mattified. So I just wanna take my sponge here and apply some powder onto those other parts of my face where I applied the concealer. So onto my chin and my nose. And actually this Reserve Your Cabana shade on my skin tone can actually work as a 
bit of a powder foundation to add a little bit of extra coverage because as I was applying it to my chin and my nose just now, I see that it did add some extra coverage to those areas as well, which is a good thing. I like that. And I feel like it did kind of add a bit of radiance to my nose and my chin, which I like the look of that as well. It is kind of highlighting. And on my under eyes, there is no more creasing happening. So I would say this did a great job of a setting powder and of setting my makeup. I like how it looks on the skin. The shade is great. And for this price point, it's fantastic. It's such a deal, especially for all of the product you get. And because I can use this as both a powder foundation and an, a setting powder for my under eyes and wherever I wanna set my makeup. So I am going to continue using this powder throughout the day, seeing how my makeup lasts and how it sets. If it ends up getting really dry or cakey as the day goes on, I will let you know about that in the description down below. So I will put my wear test results in the description. But I am really happy with the results of this and it makes me feel confident in how my makeup looks. And I also really appreciate how quick and easy this powder is to apply. It's easier than a loose setting powder that can get all over the place and you have to tap out and then it just takes extra time. This is just as quick and easy as can be. So I am really happy to have this in my collection now. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.